Hello and welcome to Q Programming. My name is Samarth, and in this video, we will be covering the Class 12 Computer Science with Python syllabus that has been revised for 2021 to 2022. And if you don't know already, it's been split into two terms, uh, and each term will have its respective board exam based on that syllabus only. So you won't have a uh, syllabus from term one coming in the term two board exam, which is pretty good. Uh, but let's look at the distribution of units. So we have three units, as you know. You can see the three units in this column right here. And term one has basically unit one. It's just unit one, which is a lot of Python stuff. And term two has one chapter from unit one, which is our data structure chapter. But the rest is computer networks and database management, which are theory-based chapters. But there's also SQL and Python SQL connectivity, which is some of a Python chapter and programming chapter. But the rest is a lot of theory. So you can think of term one as a Python-based exam and term two as a theory-based exam broadly, right? So in the syllabus, you can see how they've divided the syllabus and they've made some reductions, uh, which we will cover in a separate video. But uh, you can see here that you, uh, term one looks a bit smaller than term two. It has fewer topics. So it might be a bit easier for term one than term two. And also term two has a lot of theory based stuff. So you might have to memorize many things. But term one, if you've been consistent with your Python programming, if you've understood everything, if you even if you, you know if you are taking up programming as a hobby or you do it for fun, then it's easier for you because you know a lot about Python. You probably understand everything that's going on, and you even know a lot of details, like a lot of the names, a lot of the functions, and all those things. So it's a good idea to start practicing Python if you haven't started already. You do it for fun; it's actually a lot of fun. So if you haven't already, start doing that. But Term one, you can still do it on your own. It's very easy. And we will be making videos. We've already started making videos as well for these chapters, but we haven't released them yet. So we'll be releasing them much faster now so that you can get your term one syllabus done very quickly. And you can start focusing on other subjects as well. So you get your computer science solidified and then you can start focusing on other subjects as well for term one. Right. So We'll be also covering a lot of case-based questions. So the case-based questions have been released by CBSC, some sample questions, and we'll make our own questions as well and make a PDF of those for you to practice. And we'll be solving some of them on our channel as well. So you can check those out. Uh, besides that, you know, we have our syllabus here and then we have some projects and pr practicals. We'll be covering videos on these practicals, you know, these small practicals right here. Uh, and these ones as well. We'll be covering those in videos. We'll be making videos for these. We'll be showing you how to create these practicals and explain to you how everything works in those practicals, not just uh, show you the code and let you mug it up. We'll make sure you understand every single thing you need to know. And then you have your project. So if you want details on your project, we have another video. That link will also be there. So make sure you check that video out if you want more details on the project and a uh, detailed analysis of the syllabus because some of the syllabus is still the same. So if you want detailed analysis on that, you can check out the video that's in the description. And if you want the PDF for this, we'll be attaching the link to the PDF in the description as well. So get that out as well on your own and for other subjects as well, we'll be attaching a separate link. So yeah, and make sure you subscribe to our channel because we'll be making a lot of videos on first year term one syllabus and then we'll move on to term two as well. But after your term one syllabus is done, we'll be covering a lot of, we'll have a lot of videos on MCQs, case-based questions, and practicals uh, so that you understand everything and you have everything you need to ace your board exams, right? Because the pattern has changed, so you need to be ready for those exams and we will be doing whatever we can to help you with that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon so that you're notified whenever we post a video and you can simply click on that notification and you'll watch our video right away. And besides that, if you like this video, if you found it useful, you can give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that if your friend is also studying computer science, they can also understand how the syllabus has been broken for 2021 to 2022. And if you have any questions related to the syllabus, you can always ask in the questions uh, in the comments. We'll be happy to answer anything you have to ask. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and we will see you in the next video.